So this uh, Charlie Hebdo thing, you know, and the um, gunmen uh, killing people, uh, this in France, in Paris, this thing has got people all up in arms against uh, Muslims in general. And I've been having some interesting conversations on Twitter about this, people who claim that, um, you know, all Islam, and when they say that they refer to Muslims, are against us and are a threat, and they do what their imams say, and they're robots, you know, effectively, and they have to be destroyed and combated and all this stuff. And uh, the first thing I want to say is, you know, especially to proponents of individual liberty, uh, you know, we are individualists. And so when you take a group of people and you say that they're all the same and they act as one, you're collectivizing them which is in direct, uh, you know, contradiction to the philosophy of individ individualism, which is what is behind individual liberty, which says that uh, every person is indiv in an individual, you know. Just because another, another person that happens to be classed in, a, in the same group uh, does something, that doesn't mean that uh, all the other members of the group are guilty of it. Muslims, just like everybody else, are, are individuals, and they deserve to be treated as individuals. And, you know, just because one person who identifies as a Muslim does something, no matter how heinous and unspeakable, doesn't mean that, you know, it's all at war on all Muslims. That's simplistic. That's, that's simple-minded. And that is the kind of philosophy that led to something like the Crusades. Uh, and, you know, that is going to... It's, it's, just, it's just beneath the dignity of an American who believes in individual liberty to speak such things. Uh, America is a country that welcomes people from all over precisely because <clears throat> we are individualists and we recognize everyone as an individual. Now, uh, some people are saying that moderate, li moderate um, Muslims are not speaking out and et cetera, et cetera. This is completely false. False, false, false. All you have to do is step out of your comfort zone or your, you know, your favorite website or whatever and go search and read. I'll put a couple links in, in the description of this video. There are plenty of moderate Muslims who condemn what uh, these jihadists are doing. And uh, there are people who say, well, you can find all the substance, you know, all, all the philosophy of jihadism in the Quran. Well, you can find some pretty screwed up stuff in the Bible, too. So what? Yeah, I was raised a Catholic. Um, I'm not particularly religious, but you know, if you check my government paperwork, probably somewhere it's going to say I'm a Catholic. You know, so does that mean that everybody has a beef with Catholicism? Should be after my head too, and then I deserve to suffer for the sins of other Catholics? That's absolutely ludicrous. Now I'll say that uh, I've had personal experiences with uh, many Muslims. Uh, I had a good friend who was a Muslim in college, great person, intelligent, well-spoken, uh, reasonable. And when I was driving a cab in Chicago in 95 and 96, uh, you know, I have to say I had to get a lot of work done on my cab. I got stuck with the lemon of a car. And um, I went to this guy, Farouk, from Pakistan, Muslim. And uh, he was like just the picture of integrity and honesty. I could just see he was a good person. Every time I went in there, he gave me a fair deal. He showed me how much the parts cost. He let me decide if I wanted the high quality parts or the cheap parts. And he showed me how much the labor cost and he did it in a jiffy. And you know, he didn't shuffle me off into some waiting room where I couldn't even see what he was doing. Yeah, I could walk over there and watch while the guy worked on my car, you know? I, you know, no offense to the mechanics in the audience, but I, I really don't like dealing with you guys, man. I don't trust you guys. And, you know, you go to a place like a, I don't remember the name of it, but, you know, there, there's a big chain of mechanics places that I've gone to before. And, you know, they'll do good work. Yeah, but they'll charge an arm and a leg for it. Not Farouk. Not Farouk. Reasonable prices, quality work, and a Muslim. And, and this was 20 years ago almost. So, uh, you know, don't uh, judge the people by the book. Uh, don't lump all Muslims in together. And let's keep in mind what uh, Jesus said. Do unto others as you would have done unto you, you know. So if you don't want, if you don't want to be treated that way, don't treat other people that way, okay?
Muslims are individuals just like everybody else. Thanks.